Hello everyone. Yesterday, the USMLE announced that Step 1 exams taken prior to the policy change to pass fail will continue to be reported as three digit numeric score. This means that some students will be applying to the math with three digit score while others will have pass or fail. Just to give you a little bit background about the topic, in February of this year, 2020, the USMLE decided to change the reporting system of the Step 1 exam from three digit score to pass fail. I'm not going to go into this video and the reasons why the USMLE made that decision and whether the program directors agree with it. However, I'm going to talk about the different scenarios that medical students will have as a result of the new announcement. The USMLE mentioned that this policy change will take effect no earlier than January 2022. But the exact date of that policy change is not yet determined. Let's assume that the policy change takes effect on January 2022 and see how that will impact different applicants. U.S. medical students generally take their Step 1 exam between their second and third year. Some schools, however, allow students to take their Step 1 exam during their third year. Therefore, students who just started their first year in a U.S. medical school will all be applying to the match using pass-fail system. Because by the time they finish their second year, which is going to be the summer of 2022, the change would have already happened. Unless they are in schools that finish the Step 1 curriculum, in one year and they allow them to do their step one after their first year. U.S. medical students who just started their third year will be applying to the match in September 2021, which is before the policy change happens and all of them will be applying using a three-digit score. However, international medical graduates and U.S. medical students who just started their second year will have different scenarios. U.S. medical students who just started their second year will generally take their step one exam in the summer of 2021 after their second year, which means they will have a three-digit score on their step one. However, students from the same class who are allowed to do their step one during their third year will have the opportunity to choose if they want their step one exam to be three-digit score or pass-fail. If these students choose to do their step one exam in the first half of their third year, which is prior to January 2022, they will have a three-digit score. While those who choose to do it after January 2022, in the second half of their third year, will have a pass fair exam. The same situation applies for international medical graduates who have more freedom in choosing when to do their step one exam because they're not required by their school to do that exam at a specific time in their medical school. Because of that, some students might consider doing the step one exam prior to the policy change if they think that they will get a good score and show the case of their competitive application. However, students who want to focus on other aspects of their application like clinical rotations or research might consider doing the step one exam afterwards and get a pass fail score. However, one thing to keep in mind is that program directors might favor students who have step one numeric score compared to those who have pass or fail. Therefore, some argue that the new announcement that was made yesterday will create bias against those who have pass or fail because in this situation, program directors will favor those who have a score compared to those who have pass or fail and call for unified reporting of the exam after the policy change is implemented. There is a lot of controversy about this topic. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the comment below. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Melke Asad. Thank you so much for watching and see you in future videos.